my name is Dr. Mustafa Dikan. I'm working at Tron Translational Oncology Institute in Mainz. Uh, my role in this summit project is to bridge the bioinformatics and immunology teams and to validate the findings of our bioinformatics team in different immunological models. My team is also working on developing strategies against escape of the tumor from immunotherapies in the summit project, especially vaccines against neoantigens. In this project, we would like to generate the next generation of the personalized vaccines to induce immune responses against patients' individual cancer mutations and also to counteract the tumor immune escape. Tumor cells evolve mechanisms to escape the monitoring of our immune systems. So we are constantly improving algorithms or designing new algorithms to better describe such neoantigens in heterogeneous tumors. This is of great importance for the clinical translation, and we believe that we need to solve these challenges before we have uh, real novel therapy options. Professor Shine is a great pioneer in this work, so he also has been working with mRNA vaccines and neoantigens for a long time, and we are together with him implementing all these methodologies together. And Dr. Loewe also was the lead person in developing such algorithms to predict these epitopes or these neoantigens and also show which ones of them are really useful for the therapy. So in Tron, we have so-called functional units, which are comprised of people specialized in certain methodologies. And we optimize the mRNA itself, but also its delivery to fully exploit its potential. And Professor Shahin really helped us to get the best RNA in the end, which enabled also a rapid design and the production of an mRNA vaccine against COVID-19. As the virus also mutates constantly, I think the learnings from the summit project can also be used for also the next generation COVID vaccines. This frontier research is of great importance to help other people think in the same direction and also contribute. This is uh, really needed because after our first publication, other people also publish and we also learn from them. This creates, of course, great scientific exchange in the end, which we, we all need as scientists. The ERC funding really helped us to proceed rapidly and more importantly, independently to the goals we set for this project and enables us to focus and deliver. We have several PhD students working on this project within different teams, which has the nice opportunity to be trained for joint research. That means like genomics, bioinformatics and immunology. And this is really very important to train such next scientists for the development of the field for the next decade. Frontier science is really important in this aspect. And without having this know-how and about how an mRNA molecule is composed of and how we can shape it, how we can improve it. There is no rapid way to bring it to the clinic. And this all needs time and work to optimize everything. And then you are ready for the translation when it is needed. Without all this preliminary work, in this case in 20 years, it wouldn't be possible to translate our knowledge so fast into this COVID vaccine.